So whether you're looking to flip a mower to make a little bit of quick cash, or maybe just restore an old used mower for yourself so you don't have to go out and spend four or five grand on a new one, then this video is for you. Now what we have here today is a 2006 John Deere X320 that we were able to pick up for $250, 1,500 hours on it. The seat that's all busted up, scratches, we've got things missing off the deck. This mower will not stay running. I'm gonna be doing this video on totally restoring this mower, making it look like new. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that and get yourself into a very cheap used mower hopefully for under $1,000. You know, things we need to be looking for, obviously first thing is we need to pop the hood, go ahead and check out the engine, go ahead and see if it starts. And like I said, this one will start, it just won't stay running. And also I'll show you for example here. And then if I try to raise up on the, before I could even actually get to where I was pushing up on the throttle, we were, we totally died there at the engine, which are all things that I think can definitely be fixed on this mower and we are gonna find out. So things we need to check. First off, we're gonna check out the engine here. Make sure and check our spark plugs, our oil level, our oil filter, our air filter. So first thing I'm probably gonna do here is just go ahead and put a home maintenance kit onto this machine. So we've installed the home maintenance kit and a few things that I wanna go over here is that this mower definitely needed this. I don't know how well you guys can see this oil but it is definitely dark and nasty. The air filter here, getting pretty rough on this outside filter. Looks like it had definitely been blown out as it was pretty clean here. So it had been blown out recently, but we can tell this is definitely an older filter by the rips and tears that are starting here in the outer filter. Now the spark plugs, this is what I was most impressed with was just how burnt and black and dark and dirty those were so those definitely needed to be replaced and then of course we put in two brand new quarts of 10w30 and the new oil filter here and then interestingly enough there was a almost brand new fuel filter on it um, but we did go ahead and change that out looks like from in the inside it may be a little dark so it definitely probably needed to be changed too um, but fairly new look like on the fuel filter. So now after doing all of that, going ahead and putting on the home maintenance kit to the mower, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on and start the mower up, see if we have any differences in our performance if this thing will stay running. My guess is, is that it's gonna be a no, as I really have a uh, inkling here that this is going to be an electrical issue. And I think I have a good idea of what it's gonna be, but we're gonna go ahead and test it out here, see if we can get this thing going. Definitely an electrical issue. And we're killing. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. We're gonna choke it, turn to the on position. Now, one thing that's interesting here is this is an older X300 series and these are notorious for having issues with the electronic control module, which actually sits right underneath the dash here. And whenever I turn that on, that should control such things as whether the spark plugs are getting spark to the engine and also if we are getting solenoid action there at the carburetor. So whenever I turn the switch on, I should hear some clicks and I hear nothing there. So when I'm turning the switch to that on position, no clicks. So our solenoid is definitely not engaging there at the carburetor. So now our next step is we are gonna go ahead and switch out this control module and see what happens after we do that. All right, so we've got our new control module here mounted underneath. Now this should fix most of our electrical problems here. So next thing that we're gonna do is give this a test. Now I was talking about that click that you should hear at your solenoid there on the carburetor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn the key switch to on here and see if we hear that. And again, we do not hear that. Go ahead and try starting up the machine here and see what we get.
right there, guys. We seem to be running fine just from changing that ECM right there. Like I said, that controls a lot of the electrical function here on this mower. So we could have just not been getting some spark. Maybe something wasn't happening right whenever we had that before, which was causing this mower to not stay running. Let's go take it out for a test spin. So we've got her outside. Uh, I'm gonna drive around just a little bit here. First of all, let's go ahead and go through our throttle here. Make sure everything still sounds good. All right, so it sounds like we've got all our throttle all the way from the bottom to the top. Now, one thing that I did do is I did go ahead and change out that carburetor solenoid there in the front. I was just a little bit leery that that may cause us issues, though it seemed to be working right there, right there while I was still in the shop and started it up. I went ahead and changed that just to make sure that we didn't have any issues there. Still running great here, so now I'm gonna drive around a little bit, engage the mower deck, make sure that we are, that the mower deck is functioning. We'll see how it goes. It's set on two and a half, and we are cutting grass. Lower deck lock works, so we are locked now up into transport mode. One other thing I'm going to check here is I'm going to go ahead and re engage the deck and make sure our RIO works, which is our rear implement option button. So we'll engage that. Now I'm gonna to try to go in reverse here and make sure that it will shut it off. And it did right there. It did go ahead and turn the mower deck off. So we will re-engage that. We'll go forward here. Then we're gonna pull up on our engagement, start our rear descent, and it does work. So we're all good there. Last thing to check, we're gonna make sure that our cruise control is working. And it is, there I am right there. I've let off the pedal and I'm not having to hold down. So the cruise control is working. All right guys, so I am super happy right now. We are fully functioning. The mower deck is working. The engine's running good, sounds good. It's got fresh oil in it, fresh filters. It's got that new ECM, which seemed to fix all of our problems that we had. Now I went ahead and took it a step further and changed out that, that carburetor solenoid just to make sure because we were having issues with it before. I think now we're ready to give this guy a bath and start working on the cosmetics. Now, before we do that, one thing that I'd point out is, like I said in the beginning, this is a 2006 X320, <clears throat> had issues with it running. We got into it for $250. So I have it running here now after adding three things to it. I did a home maintenance kit, which was right around $50. I put in the new ECM, which was right at $100. And the new carburetor solenoid, which was right at $90, maybe a little higher. So if we round all that up, we'd say that we are in this mower for only $500. So this was an absolute steal. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and like we said, we wanted to be in this for a thousand dollars or less. So I'm going to go ahead and spend a little extra money on it, get it cleaned up, give it a bath, fix a lot of these scratches. I think I've still got plenty in the budget to go ahead and put a new seat on. So we're going to go ahead and do that and get this puppy looking nice. Now that we've got the mower rinsed off with the power washer, the next thing we're gonna do is, like I said, fix up some of the cosmetic issues with this mower. So first off, what we're gonna do is hit a lot of the defects in the paint. So as you'll see here, we've got scratches, we've got chip spots, we've got rub spots, a lot of defects here in the paint on the back fenders of this mower. So we're gonna take care of those with a John Deere green ag and turf paint touch-up pin, get those all filled in, and then also we're going to change out the seat on this mower as it is clear that this thing definitely needs a new seat. So I don't know about you guys, but just with the brand new seat installed and the touch-up paint on, even though it doesn't look perfect, but don't worry, we've got a little bit of ways that we can fix that and make that look better. But even with the scratches touched up, the new seat, this thing is already looking so, so much better. So now, we, that we've got the touch-up paint on, we do need to let that sit and dry, make sure that gets good and dry before we do a final 
polish of this machine. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna work on a couple of different things. For one, the steering wheel here is really faded and I do have a fix for that using a heat gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch this up, make this steering wheel look nice and pretty. And then also we've got quite a bit of work that we need to do here on the deck. So first let's make a checklist of things we need to be checking on the deck. First is gonna be our deck wheels or anti-scalping wheels. Now what we wanna do is we wanna change these out first if they are nice and worn down, go ahead and change those out. For one, on this deck here, we're actually going to be using these to slide this deck out from underneath. So once we get these changed out, we can actually flip these wheels to the side and then pull the deck out from underneath. Second is gonna be our belt. Now, once we have the mower off, we wanna be making sure we inspect that deck belt really well. So take your hand and just physically pull on that belt in the spot that's nice and open where you can see the back and the front. We're gonna be looking for any rips or tears or any notches that may be in this belt that shows significant wear telling us that we need to change this belt out. Now next is going to be our spindles. So once we go ahead and get the belt inspected, we can go ahead and check and spin our spindles by hand. We can do this with the blades on or the blades off. But what we're doing it here is making sure that we can feel a smooth spin and also that we are hearing the bearings and seeing if we can hear any popping or cracking on these bearings whenever we're turning them. If so, we may have issues with the spindle. So we need to make sure and address that issue. Next is gonna be the blades. So we wanna make sure and check our blades, check them for sharpness. As we can see, these here are very dull. So we'll probably go ahead and change these out. Now, some you may be able to put on a balancer and actually check these blades for the levelness and see how much they've been sharpened and actually file them down with a file instead of a grinder, because that way, whenever we're doing it by hand, we're not damaging the temper of the metal on these blades. And then lastly, guys, we need to just go ahead and clean this deck, make sure and get it nice and spot, spotless underneath so we have good airflow. We have a clean deck underneath and that'll just overall increase the performance of this deck. All right, guys, so we are almost there now. We've got the deck cleaned off on top. We've got our touch up paint on. We have our new anti-scalping wheels all the way around the deck. And then we got everything greased up, lubricated here on top, ready to go. We've got our new discharge chute on and our new blades and a clean underneath of the deck. So now the last thing to do here it's a finishing touch. We're gonna to polish this baby up and then get a full 360 of what it looked like before and then what it looked like after. And then after that, we'll have to take it out, give it a test drive. Come on now, spread the love. Spread it close and spread it wide. Spread it round the countryside. Spread the love. Come along and don't be slow. Let me show you where I wanna go. Not too bad for the finished product. Now guys, just remember we got into this mower for $250. We spent $250 to get the engine going, get everything running smooth. And then we got into the cosmetics and the deck. So we've got the new seat, the new discharge chute, new anti-scalping wheels, new blades, new paint and polish to get this thing all shined up. So we are in this mower for a total of $900. Now. Like I said, this would be a nice, quick, easy way to be able to flip a mower and make some cash as a mower like this, you know, brand new is a four to $5,000 mower. So you could easily sell this for twice that 900 to make some quick cash. Or also, like we said before, if you're looking to restore one for yourself, this would be a cheap, easy way to get into a really nice mower. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps me out as well. Also guys, if you're looking to buy any of these parts for this mower, Make sure to go check that link down in the description at 247parts.com where I'll also have all the links to the how-to videos on what exactly we did to this mower. But guys, like I said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.